That's absolutely right. Chagan Bujbal, who is known for the OBC leader, and he was very close with Sharad Pawar, as we all know, uh, on the foundation uh, day of uh, NCP, where Chagan Bujbal, Sharad Pawar, Ajit Pawar, Jain Patil, uh, and everybody was there. And at that time, as we all know, from being being uh, in Maharashtra, uh, Chagan Bujbal plays a major role uh, for the NCP as well, and as well as Praful Patel, because Praful Patel was given a big post in uh, in in the in the NCP by the Sharad Pawar some days uh, before. But right now. Now what we can see with Sharad Pawar, uh, with, uh, with Praful Patel, Ajit Pawar and Chagan Bujbal, everybody is inside and taking oath. Our uh, for in, uh, in, the, in the Maharashtra right now, but as we all know before that on the day of Foundation Day with the NCP, Ajit Pawar was clearly mentioning that he need uh, at least a small post. He don't want a posi opposition post right now. At least give a small post before that. As we all know, uh, Sharad Pawar uh, made a Supriya Surya and Praful Patel pa Patel as well in that. But uh, Ajit Pawar was demanding a small post. But later on, he didn't get any post because Sharad, pa Sharad Pawar is clearly mentioning that he is already having a big post like a position leader where Ajit Pawar is saying that I don't want any kind of, I don't want a position leader post, I want a small post in NCP, but it was not given and right now it's a big decision. Today on Sunday there was a meeting inside the, inside the Ajit Pawar bungalow with the, all the party leaders and later on suddenly they came here with the Praful Patel, Chagan Pujbar inside the Raj Bhavan and taking over as a deputy chief minister of Maharashtra. Okay, all right. So this is a big change that we are seeing. Ajit Pawar there, and uh, the clear shift in power was also visible. Ankit, as we saw, uh, both Chief Minister Eknath Shinde as well as Devendra Fadnavis, of course, uh, warmly greeting Ajit Pawar. Uh, we have ten of the top leaders of the NCP also with Ajit Pawar taking oath, and this is a big shift. Suffice to say that this came as a big, big surprise to many, and uh, this was done with Raj uh, Bhavan well aware of the developments there. We saw as the leaders arrived, it was all set for these leaders to take oath. <laughs> Yes, that's that's absolutely right. Whenever, as we as we all know, in the NCP, Ajit Pawar was a major important role when he was playing. And as we also know, when the, the decision has been made by the Sharad Pawar in Delhi, we also saw the expression of Ajit Pawar. He was not happy with, with the decision that there was a two proposed important post which, which was given to Supriya Sule and Jayant Patil, but not Ajit Pawar because Ajit Pawar plays a major role on the ground for the NCP workers, and he is having a, a good big big leaders of NCP with him right now as well and before that as well and before that also as we also saw that many posters of Ajit Pawar being a future chief minister or uh, by the NCP by, by the NCP workers by the NCP followers of Ajit Pawar who's uh, like uh, trust in Ajit Pawar from that time these things were happening but Ajit Pawar was denying Ajit Pawar was clearly saying no I am with the party I will be with the party forever no matter what but right now it's a big development it's a shocking development what I must say in the, for for NCP for for Sharad Pawar as well, because uh, as we all know, when the, when there was an incident, when Sharad Pawar clearly mentioned that he don't want to become a president and he and uh, want to become a president of NCP. Oh, no. oh, on that time, on that time, as we all know, only the one person, Ajit Pawar, who was saying that let him go out from the post, and others were against him. So it was one person, Ajit Please. Pawar versus other other people. Yeah, as other people, like other people in the sense, if we talk about uh, Praful Patel, Jain Patel, everybody was uh, not happy with that decision, but Ajit Pawar was the only who was happy for the decision. But right now, Ajit Pawar is DCM of Maharashtra. All right, covering every angle of what this means for Maharashtra politics, Shivani, Arunil, Ankit and Radhika on the broadcast with us. But Ankit, I want to ask you what this means for the NCP because we had a reaction from Sharad Pawar earlier today where he said that he was not aware of this meeting that Ajit Pawar has called, but he said that he has the power to call for a meeting. And now we have Ajit Pawar with the top leaders taking oath uh, in the Raj Bhavan. <laughs> Yes, that's absolutely right. It was a, it was a definitely uh, Sharad Pawar didn't know about anything about this meeting and uh, yeah, there was a sudden meeting with the NCP leaders at the Ajit Pawar bungalow with the all the big leaders like uh, like big leaders like Praful Patel and everyone okay. Chagan Bujbal were also part of it. And uh, what uh, this means are... in terms of numbers, uh, Ankit, request you to stay on with us. Arunil, how do the numbers stack up here? Because we uh, see that Ajit Pawar has the support purportedly of 22 of the MLAs. That's over one third of the MLAs within the NCP, what does this mean for the Maharashtra politics here on? Well, Pratipa, sometime back I was speaking to Mr. Prithviraj Chavan, the senior Congress leader. He basically made it very clear saying that 
अजीत पवार विल नीड द नंबर ऑफ थर्टी सिक्स टू बेसिकली अवॉइड द एंटी डिफेक्शन लॉ इफ इट डजेंट हैव द थर्टी सिक्स नंबर ऑफ एम एल ए सपोर्ट विद इम देन देर इज अ चांस दैट ऑल दीज एम एल एज विल बी बार्ड दे विल गेट डिसक्वालिफाइड सो इट लुक्स लाइक द काइंड ऑफ कॉन्फिडेंस दैट इज बिन bestowed and the kind of leaders that have supported ajit pawar now in the frame is hasan mushri consider to be a close confidant of sarat pawar himself uh, an mla from uh, kolhapur uh, recently there was ed action initiated against him this is also important to note pratiba before him was dilip palse patel dilip palse patel again uh, somebody who has been with the nationalist congress party right from its inception very close Okay, all right. Uh, in fact, Ankit. Uh, so now we have, as we're seeing the visuals, information coming in of nine of these MLAs were all set to take oath from the NCP. This means, in effect, the Maharashtra cabinet is going to have nine BJP MLAs, nine NCP MLAs, and nine Sena uh, MLAs. So this means that the ministries are going to be equally divided among the BJP, NCP, and the Shinde camp. Yes that's absolutely right like as we all know before taking this decision by the Ajit Pawar there was a definitely inside talk with the with the deputy chief minister of Maharashtra uh, the former deputy chief minister of Maharashtra uh, chief minister uh, Chetna Shinde about the seat sharing but as you can see in the uh, in the in the uh, visuals as well they have a nine seat now NCP also got the ministry of nine seats so nine seat with NCP nine seat with BJP and nine seat with Shinde yes, so before that also between but the BJP the NCP and the Shinde Sena is this an indication an arunil of the power equation that will remain in the maharashtra government well first we'll go by the visuals also pratibha now hasan mushrif is a is a very close confidant of sharad pawar himself there was ed action initiated against him recently uh, dilip palse patil chagan bujbal all these are very very senior leaders of the ncp you also rightly pointed out now uh i can see a very significant and a prominent position being taken by cm shinde over here but this joining of the ncp mlas uh, with uh, the bjp makes the position of the cm shinde camp very very weak over here with respect to the numbers if you go by the numbers bjp already has the support has 105 mlas they have the support of 15 independents and now if more than 30 mlas from the ncp join in then it it makes the situation of cm shinde camp very 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 weak uh, in the present government now the person who is swearing in at present is dhananjay munde he is considered to be a very uh, uh, close confidant of ajit pawar but he won against pankaja munde a senior bjp leader and it is said to be that devendra fadnavis was behind his surprise victory in the bid region region and last time also when ajit pawar had sworn in they uh, dhananjay munde had given out his support to uh, ajit pawar so all these leaders who have joined uh, ajit pawar uh, many of them were there with the party since the ncp was formed after breaking away from uh, the original congress party now uh, many uh, in the political circles are also raising a question pratibha that whether sharad pawar himself uh, is behind this the reason for that pratibha is that uh, uh, the ncp sources were informing us that sharad pawar himself was feeling very sidelined when it came to opposition unity that was been planned against the bjp so is this another card that is been played by uh, uh the veteran ncp supremo uh, siding with the uh, bjp and is expecting something in return that is th these are only assumptions that we are raising at this juncture but very very significant development coming in from uh, maharashtra politics ajit pawar swearing in as deputy cm devendra fadnavis himself was uh, the deputy cm of maharashtra now what exactly happens to uh, devendra fadnavis he had always said that uh, when basically cm bjp government uh, shinde bjp government had formed devendra fadnavis had had said that he doesn't want to be part of the government but that time jp nadda as well as uh, amit shah had uh, given out a public reaction requesting devendra fadnavis to be part of uh, this government but can the bjp uh, put their entire trust on outsiders like ajit pawar or cm shinde that is again a big question that comes to the fore because bjp ha is the biggest party in the state of maharashtra 105 numbers 
uh, they have and whether it is in a position uh, to compromise over here just for the numbers that they are seeking for the Lok Sabha elections all these questions clearly uh, come to the fore if you look at the body language as well uh, Dharanjay Munde himself everybody seemed to be very well prepared for this uh, because Ajit Pawar's uh, reports of him uh, being very close to Devendra Fadnavis and reports of him inclined towards joining the BJP were doing the rounds right from the start Pratibha he may have declined it or refuted it many many times saying that i will remain with the ncp till the very end now it is also about the future of the nationalist congress party just like the Shiv Sena, what happened with the Shiv Sena, if Sharad Pawar is not part of the decision and so many MLAs are supporting uh, the NCP, are we going to see a similar kind of a situation for the NCP like that it happens with, happened with the Thakres? Uh, is Sharad Pawar losing his, the party that he formed on his own? Uh, Uddhav Thakre may have got the party from his father, but Sharad Pawar formed this party on his own. And now whether the NCP party is going towards uh, his nephew now, that is also a question that uh, clearly comes to the fore. Massive developments coming in from uh, the state of Maharashtra, wherein nine NCP mantris have been sworn in over here, and that includes some of the senior netas. Obviously, Ajit Pawar remains uh, the biggest name, and he swearing in as the deputy CM, uh, when Devendra Fadnavis already is the deputy CM, now what position Devendra Fadnavis takes, that also again will be very interesting. Dilip Palse Patil, somebody who was there with uh, the NCP since its inception, former Home Minister of Maharashtra, swearing in with Ajit Tawar, okay. Chagan Bujbal swearing in with Ajit Tawar, Hassan Mushrif, uh, against whom there was ED action recently, uh, somebody who was considered to be a close confidant of Sharad Tawar, swearing in with Ajit Tawar massive developments from Maharashtra politics. Now, what exactly happens uh, yes, to the... Yes, this is uh, going to, to have repercussions ahead of the Lok Sabha elections. Arunil, stay with us. Uh,